If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Warrior burger. I love having a warrior burger to start the day. All those minerals and vitamins that come into organ meat. Mm. Good morning, <clears throat> November 7th, 2021. My birthday, <laughs> 49 years old. Day 51 of being in the internet black hole. <laughs> Got here with Sam and Katie out walking on this freezing cold day. Well, it feels freezing. My numb, my fingers are numb. I wanted to talk about something that Katie told me about she saw this morning. I actually got to sleep in a little bit for my birthday. As she was up watching uh, some clips on YouTube and she saw one of uh, Greg Gutfeld talking about uh, how the food pyramid has been a lie all these years. What exactly did he say about it? That we've been told that loading up on carbs first thing in the morning is a good thing, yeah. especially for children. You, how it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite of the truth. And a lot of us who have been doing lion diet or carnivore diet, we, we know that that's not the truth to begin with. Starting off with some protein is actually far better for a child's body and brain, especially in those developmental years that they're in. For us to both be hearing people on up on the news the big the big names the ones that most people watch which we don't really watch much of any of this anymore because it's all such a game show but uh it's nice to at least hear some truth is being brought out especially when it comes to nutrition and it's coming out on major sources in a time where uh other major interests want to restrict our access to meat we have a lot of people waking up to the benefits of eating meat and how meat can heal your body. I've been doing this diet now, let's see, it's November, so 10 months. In one week, it'll be 10 months that I've been doing lion diet. I've had some ups and downs with the right things to eat, but for the most part, I've stayed steady and true, and it stayed steady and true to me. Not only getting rid of the gut issues that I, I went into it to try to deal with, but also reducing tremendously the anxiety issues, uh, getting rid of some of the skin problems that I had. I, I used to have very bad rosacea, which when it's cold like this would look very awful. I still have some flaky skin, but just the rosacea alone is a big thing because I was told numerous times there was nothing I could do about it. Uh, my vision has improved. Uh, my blood pressure problems went away. Just so many benefits. Oh, not to mention losing about 95 pounds of fat and packing on 20 pounds of muscle. A uh, whole different body, a whole different mind. And it all came from doing the opposite of what we were told for the past 30, 40 years. This is the way you're supposed to eat. I remember listening to all the experts on how I was supposed to lose weight or get in shape or tighten those that tummy area. And almost all of it was the opposite of what I know to be true now. So it's just exciting to be able to talk and to talk about this and have to, and see that other people are waking up to the truth. Something that Katie and I both are consternated about a lot is that we we know there's some things going on that are not on the up and up, but we're the weirdos for realizing that they were like that. I guess you'd call us conspiracy theorists because we think that there's something bigger going on than what we're being told a lot of times. And uh, that's gotten a bad rap over the past uh, 30 years or so. But now it's starting to seem like all the people who said, wait a minute, what looks like's happening is not what really is happening are proven to be right. Well, when it comes to nutrition, it's such a cornerstone for how we're going to live and face life that this is a big lie that has kept us down in so many ways that we really can't even calculate it. So one of the most important things I can tell you to do if you want to fight the BS that's going on out there, if you want to fight the malaise, if you want to fight back against the weight gain, if you want to fight back against all the 
things that have been holding you down, changing your diet, adding a little exercise, really has been the one thing that they've said that was true. They were just telling you the wrong way to do it. <laughs> so we're back again, walking on this freezing cold day to give you encouragement to keep it up. Don't let the weather changes slow you down. If you have to walk somewhere else, walk indoors. You know, you can walk laps around your bed if you had to. But I just wanted to share that it was encouraging for us to see that there's a little bit of truth going on in, in the corporate media now with regard to eating protein as opposed to all the, the carbohydrates and different things that they've been pushing that have nothing to do with good health, at least not for people with my body situation. And I'm finding there's lots of people whose bodies have not done well with these suggested ways of eating. And uh, we know now that over and over that those, those, those ways that they've tried to teach us to eat actually lead to more heart disease and more health issues. So join the club. Come join the, the club of people who realize that nutrition is the key to taking control of your life. And being able to get the strength that you need to get out and get that walk in, start doing some exercise. Speaking of exercise, I'm hoping to be able to get some more time in on my one-two fit. I haven't really been able to do much exercise with this tendonitis in my right arm, but uh, always keep the walking going at the very least, even when you have to take a break from the lifting exercise gotta listen to your body so press on and we'll see you next time if we pay extra could we maybe get some grease or fat